Hey guys, welcome back. As I mentioned in a previous video, uh, in order to train for my sub six mile attempt, I'm gonna have to do some intervals. And I said I was gonna measure off a place out on the road by my house, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I did mention earlier that I had a hill in front of my house. And so here's the hill. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but I start down at the bottom of that cul-de-sac and run up to that second tree up there. And that's 200 meters measured and it's about i would say type 20 foot elevation gain so i don't know what that means meter to foot maybe three percent or so but it's tough it's hard to run and i did run three the other day uh got about one and 50 the other two between 50 and 55 so i was actually pretty happy with that um today i'm going to go out and measure on the road i'm going to measure 220 yards 660 feet because if you're old school like me you don't do meters you do yards 220 440 880 mile so that's where i'm headed i just got done with a three and a half mile run and it's incredibly hot today it's like 95 so i'm sweaty sorry but gonna go out and measure and we'll see what it looks like it's probably going to be further than i'm thinking but i hope it ends near a telephone pole or something so i have a a point of reference so here we go all right guys here we are so i'm going to use my trusty keeson measuring wheel and i've had this since i coached cross country and i used to use it to uh measure off sections for intervals for the kids and some 5ks and i'll tell you running a 5k through the woods with this thing is not a whole lot of fun a little tiny wheel you probably need a bigger wheel to measure off bigger but I did several 5Ks with it to make sure it was complete. And so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna start right here on the beginning of this line. And I'm gonna head down that road until I hit 660 feet. And it looks flat, but it's not totally flat. It's kind of downhill a little bit from here, headed that way. So I'll get a little bit of break in the beginning, but overall I would say it's flat and I'm just really hoping it ends up by one of those telephone poles, but I got a feeling it's not. And I'll figure out how to mark that at the end, but we're gonna start here and go down and see where we end up. All right, here we go. All right, guys, I'm at 660 feet. So looking back, ah, dang, that's a long way. It looks way shorter on a track when you got a corner, but uh, I'm not on that telephone pole, but I'm doggone close to that speed limit sign right there. So I'm thinking I can probably use that as a reference. Just run slightly past that. Uh, I may try to get a rock and mark the road here, but, and I'll mark it on the way back, make sure I get a good, a good thing. So yeah, maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 feet past that. That's probably close enough for government work, but uh, I'll give that a shot and that's where I'll be doing my intervals. I'll run on both directions, get a little bit uphill, a little bit downhill and try to work to where I can get those in 45 seconds. And then maybe, uh, maybe I'll start working on running four, five, six, up to eight of those and then hit another baseline and see where I am. Get some cooler weather and try one more time. So we'll see. All right guys, so I measured it back and it measured right on the money. So I thought I would measure back from the sign and it was exactly 20 feet back from the speed limit sign. So I said, what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll measure 20 feet back there where I started. So I'm back on this third one right here. So if I start on this third one back, I can run all the way down there to exactly the speed limit sign and it'll be exactly 220 yards. So I'll do that. Uh, I think I can remember this when I come out here again, but yeah, everything looks good. It's fairly flat. I can run in either direction, come up here and uh, have a good place to work out. I can go to the track, but I can only go on the weekends when the kids are not there because school's starting soon and I won't be able to go during the week. So I can do this at lunch during the week and come out here, run, maybe one tempo run a week, one interval day a week. I honestly don't think my body can handle any more than that. And that's what I'm afraid of is getting injured. So I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm gonna run just one, one of each a week and see how it goes. Uh, maybe do a 5k at the Whitewater Center and see what kind of time I can put in there if I'm anywhere even close to what I was the first couple of times last year uh, I'll be happy 
And so that's it for today. Short one. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on the next one.